my channel welcome to a new video i hope you've all had a very good week hopefully you've all had a little bit of sunshine as well fingers crossed we've had a little bit the weather situation just doesn't really seem to know what it's doing at the moment so <laughs> yeah it's been a bit up and down but it is currently saturday afternoon i think it's about 2 30. we have been very busy this morning and my brain is honestly a bit scrambled um we decided to actually go and just have a very casual look at a couple of potential wedding venues um and yeah it's just it's scrambled my head we've looked at three in total just to kind of help us to get an idea as to the kind of thing that we want and the budget that we have and the people and the venue and yeah what our preferences are what we maybe don't want what works for us so we're kind of starting to get an idea which is good but honestly, the thought of all of it has just <laughs> put me into like a bit of a funk. And I just have so many thoughts going around in my head and I'm making so many comparisons that by the time we got home, I was like, I need to just sit and hash it out on the phone for half an hour with my mum and like word vomit at her and have a nice voice of reason and then after that I don't want to think about it <laughs> I don't want to think about it I don't want to talk about it I just need to shut it out my brain and come back to it a little bit later on I've made a bit of a spontaneous decision literally about five minutes ago <laughs> that i'm gonna go out into salisbury actually it's it's not like super close but we actually haven't been there sorry if you can hear james running the tap downstairs he is doing some painting it's it's a little bit of a drive away but i haven't been properly into salisbury since we moved into hampshire as such so I'm kind of just thinking whilst we've got a spare afternoon, I don't want to sit moping around the house because I'm very much in my own head at the moment and I know that I'm going to get quite overwhelmed if I just sit at home not doing much. So I want to just get out the house, go and have a wander around, see what's there, look in the shops, maybe look in the bookshops, but I haven't told James that part. <laughs> and yeah, just get a feel for the place and see what's around and just have like a really nice chilled saturday afternoon and the sun has just come out which is fabulous as well so i think that's the plan i do have something super exciting to show you downstairs so if you saw my instagram you might know that we were kind of up to something we were up to a little project downstairs but our beloved carpenter has been back and he has completed a little project for us which I will show you downstairs. It still needs to be painted and whatnot, it still needs to be finished, I need to get various things for it which I'll show you. But it's very exciting, it's a nice practical project for the house. We're both super happy with it and it didn't cost the world either so yeah i'll take you downstairs to show you and then i think we'll crack on we'll head out and yeah see what's around in salisbury today's outfit i will quickly show you if the space allows we're going for the neutrals today i've even got my matching slippers which obviously i will not be wearing outside but you've probably seen this outfit a few times my favorite zara trousers which I'll be honest, they're not like the, the stretchiest, comfiest trousers in the world, but I just really like how they fit. Um, and I like them with colours like this. And then I've got my one of my favourite ever cardigans on, my H&M cardigan. In fact, I might just give this a little tuck, just to kind of have a little bit of the belt showing. And then one of my favourite bags, which is starting to come out a little bit more now that we've reached this time of year because it matches um my tan sandals really nicely and it also matches this belt really nicely and then yeah as i said i'm just going to put on some tan sandals so as you can tell it's not super warm outside the sun is out but it is still a little bit chilly hence why i just got my cardigan on but i don't have anything on underneath so it's just a nice cozy comfy layer that's not too hot so yeah let me take you downstairs. 
So this is the little project, I say that we've been working on, that our carpenter <laughs> has been working on because previously we basically had a little shoe rack down in this cupboard and it used to just drive me insane. There was barely any space, all the shoes would fall off and I just, I could not cope with it any longer. And so I realised, I can kind of push this up slightly, but I basically realised that this space under the stairs was completely empty so this bit here is obviously for the downstairs bathroom but this is just a completely hollow space that served no purpose so we had a big hole cut into it and our carpenter has basically created if i try and pull it out a little bit more the most amazing shoe storage and it just looks so good i'm so so happy with it we can fit loads of shoes i think it probably helps my brain can't cope with those facing the other way around it really helps um, obviously the fact that I've got quite small feet because I can basically have three sets of shoes along each row and then James has got this sort of whole bottom space down here but I'm so happy with it the reason it's got the newspaper and the tape on is because James is going to paint it today we're basically going to do it the same color as the walls which I think is coat paint I will try and um find out which um which paint name that one is and then pop it in the description box for you but yeah we're going to paint it the same i need to find a handle i'm not sure what type of handle what color of handle i really haven't figured that out yet i think i'm going to get it painted and then i'll be able to visualize it a bit better but yeah it will just be a little hidden space in the wall that pulls out that has all of our shoes in and it's just going to be so useful i'm really really glad that we decided to do it so yeah our little little hallway update love these tops in m &S. i love this bag as well that's gorgeous but look how lovely these tops are i actually really like this color i think it'd be really nice with some blue jeans I'm tempted It's looking very very dark in the kitchen for some reason the light normally goes kind of from the back of the house at this time of day so we get all the light in the kitchen in the morning and then it gets quite dark and all of the light goes into the back of the house yeah we actually ended up having a really really nice time in Salisbury we had kind of like a spontaneous early dinner at Wagamama which was not planned I just happened to walk past it and I was like James do you fancy a wagamama? Shall I, shall I treat us to a wagamama? <laughs> and obviously he wasn't going to say no. So yeah, we ended up having a nice little meal in there. We walked um, kind of around the cathedral. We actually went into the cathedral and it turns out that they were doing a service in there and they let us kind of go in and sit and listen to a little bit of the service and listen to the choir singing. And it was actually really nice. It gave me goosebumps. It is stunning inside the cathedral so yeah we went and did that but anyway i thought i would just show you a little bit of progress with the shoe cupboard because james has finished painting it i can't really touch it because it, the paint is still drying but you're not going to believe what it looks like i mean if i didn't know that there was a shoe cupboard there uh, there would not be a shoe covered there. How crazy is that? I mean, obviously it's been painted the same color as the wall, but unless you come up to it really closely and you actually see where the gap is, you couldn't even tell that there is a cupboard there, which I just think is crazy. So what I may be thinking of doing is getting like a big kind of knob handle to go here, maybe like a, like a nice wooden one or something, because I think a big T-bar handle would then make it really obvious that we have a cupboard there. And to be honest, I quite like the idea that it's a little bit of a hidden storage. But yeah, how crazy is that? You just can't even see it. <laughs> I think that's amazing. It's one of my favourite times of day in the garden as well, on a nice early summer's evening when the sun is kind of just starting to set and you've got the last little bit of sunshine against the back of the fence. I'll show you a quick update. I feel like all I'm doing at the moment is just showing you garden updates, but I just find it so much fun. This is kind of, um, I think it's 
still looking relatively the same compared to when I bought it to be honest there's lots and lots of buds to come out I need to basically cut this whole section of rose back once this rose is gone I'm just gonna give it a good old chop back we've got some growth going on in here I'm pretty sure these are the cosmos seeds that I planted they have absolutely rocketed up I can't believe how quickly they've grown this is still being eaten to smithereens by slugs and snails so i'm gonna have to put some pellets or something on there um we've got some cute little flowers i actually don't know the names of these but we've got some very cute little flowers that have popped up hello mr bumblebee they are loving my alliums they are very happy with the alliums and now he's just flying around my head <laughs> i'm just gonna let him do his thing sweet peas absolutely loving life need i say more about these they are just thriving um and we've got some more flowers back on my little bleeding heart plant as well fresh flowers we've got some down at the bottom we've got some more coming up here so it's really sort of gotten used to the space now and it's looking nice and healthy again looking happy um not too much more growth going on on my little hydrangea but there is a little bit coming up and my gypsophila is definitely you can just see little teeny tiny bits of growth coming through on there as well which is good um, and then over on this side i've still got just the one flower that's come out on here but you can see these are starting to turn pink which is exciting and there's some more just starting to turn pink on here as well so very soon like i reckon within a few days that is going to be a very pink fuchsia. <laughs> um, my astilbe is starting to turn pink as well. You can just see the colour starting to come out and that is just loving life. The dahlias are enjoying themselves. I'm going to take off that one because that needs deadheading. Um, but otherwise, it's looking quite happy to be honest. Do I take that one off as well? Is that an old one? I think it is. I'm going to take that one off as well. Honestly, with dahlias, I'm sure lots of you know, but the more you deadhead, the more you get. <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned, I had an absolute catastrophe with one of my alliums as well. I can only assume it was the wind, but one minute it was upright and one minute it was like this and I was gutted. Um, I mean, I've still got these gorgeous ones here. Like they are humongous just look at that i can't believe how beautiful they are they are huge <laughs> but yeah we had a bit of a um we had a bit of a casualty which i was very upset about i've definitely got some color coming through on my hydrangea as well there's even more down in there which is super exciting because that is just going to be stunning there doesn't seem to be many um kind of flowers coming through on this one but we'll see I think it's just a baby one um these have come up in the last week or so and again i don't know if these are weeds maybe they are maybe i need to pull them out someone tell me i won't be offended <laughs> and i've just got a few little snapdragons just dotted around filling some gaps as well because obviously the foliage under these alliums is going to look a bit rubbish soon so it'd be good to have a bit of color just to fill that space whilst the hydrangeas grow and yeah little bit of a garden update and obviously my garden furniture is just loving life <laughs> and I'm super happy with it I think the horse might be um there's a noisy car here she is looking gorgeous I can't even tell you how relaxing it is to just look out of our window and see this gorgeous lady what a beautiful evening Good morning. I have just finished getting ready for the day. It's Sunday. We had a nice lie in this morning and it was much needed. <laughs> I just needed to clear out my head, let myself rest for a bit. Um, and we actually ended up having a really, really busy day yesterday. Like we were out and about all over the place. And I did really enjoy the afternoon. I loved going into Salisbury and I'm definitely gonna do that more often because it was so much fun. And even James quite enjoyed the shopping, to be honest. It's not often that we kind of go around shopping for him but yeah we both kind of enjoyed it so it was nice had a nice lie in this morning james is currently out uh cycling and i have just been getting ready 
giving this bedroom a little bit of a tidy up because it's been super messy, <laughs> which is completely my fault. This morning, the sun is shining. I don't know how long it's gonna stick around for, but I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best. I need to go and do uh, a little bit of deadheading in the garden. The reason I'm looking way too put together to be gardening is because it's actually James's granddad's birthday today. So we're going out for like a little family lunch just to celebrate. So that will be really lovely. And then, yeah, we'll come back this afternoon and probably just potter around the house, to be honest. My tummy is rumbling. So I am gonna head downstairs and make myself a cup of tea and a little bit of breakfast. We've got some fresh strawberries in the fridge and I literally cannot wait to get my hands on them. So I'm gonna go and make Make a yummy breakfast as well and then I think as long as the sun stays out I might just sit out in the garden for a little bit read a bit of my book do a little bit of deadheading as I said and then it will probably be time to head out for lunch <laughs> go I thought I would uh, show you the knobs <laughs> that we ordered from Amazon so James decided to just get some of these really basic pine knobs and what I'm going to do is essentially make them match the stairs so I've just put a little bit of paint on there I think I was just showing James something but essentially we've decided to pop it just on here at the bottom of the door and I'm going to make it match the tops of the stair banisters just so it kind of ties everything in and matches quite nicely. So yeah I'm going to get one of these painted it's nice to know that we'll have a spare as well so I think I might do two and just keep one in there should anything happen to this one and yeah get it painted and then pop the wax on top and it should be good to go. Stage one complete. That was harder than I thought to paint all of those without getting it all over my hands. But luckily I've managed to wash it off. So that is the first layer done. So that is the creme de la creme paint. And then I will just give that probably half an hour or so to completely dry. And then I will go in with my browning wax. And the final look. James has just kindly put this on the cupboard for me. I've gone a little bit hard with the wax, so I was thinking about buffing it a little bit, but James has been super speedy and put it on anyway, so <laughs> I'm just going to leave it how it is. But I think it looks fabulous, and it matches the stair banister really well as well. So yeah, that is the final look. I just wanted to keep the, the little handle really simple because I don't want it to stick out too much, and I think it's still quite nice and subtle. I was kind of going between putting it there and putting it here, but I think here looks a little bit nicer and it just looks like a little a little cupboard doesn't it so yeah that is the final look friend chic works its magic again and we officially have our finished shoe storage i i flip and love it i'm so glad we did it and we are home i am absolutely full <laughs> of roast dinner now i have had a delivery arrive whilst i've been out and it is a very exciting one. I'm gonna open it in just a moment. Um, I'm gonna film um, a quick TikTok whilst I open it as well because it is book related. <laughs> and I'm trying to make a conscious effort to not make my entire YouTube channel basically me chatting to you about books because I need to 
not go overboard but um i thought i would show you what i got because i ordered it from a website that actually one of my instagram friends introduced to me and i'd never heard of it before and i got some books for a really good price so i will go and grab some scissors and i'll open it with you because i don't even think i don't even think i can lift it oh my gosh <laughs> holding a camera and a box at the same time this is basically the size of the box that we're dealing with so there's a few books in here and i cannot wait to look inside okay i've angled you down so that i can open up this box whilst i am here chatting to you i'm not going to show you the top of it just yet because my full address is plastered right on the front of it sorry my battery died <laughs> let's try that again basically i ordered some books from a website called books to door which someone introduced me to on instagram i've never heard of them before i wouldn't say they're super cheap when it comes to individual books but when it comes to box sets and sets of books they have really good prices um so packaging <laughs> so i basically ordered the next box set that i'm planning on reading um it is by the same author that wrote the akatar or a court of thorns and roses book series and i do have maybe three or four like individual books that i'm planning on reading before i start this because this is going to be this is going to be a commitment but I ordered the Throne of Glass box set and I am very excited for this. <laughs> so as you can see, there's eight books in this box set and some of them are absolutely ginormous. So this is gonna take me a while to get into, but I literally could not be more excited. And I just love that it comes in this box as well. So each of these books basically retails for 9 99 and on Books To Go or Books To Door even, I paid I think 50 pounds bang on or 50 pounds 99 so I basically got three books for free if you were looking at the full retail price of all of them so that's the cheapest that I could find it anywhere it's the cheapest I could find it online and in any shop so I went for it I think I got like an introductory customer discount um, and I think you get like 10% off if you order through the app as well so I'll link these down below just in case anyone is interested in starting a book series I have heard incredible things about this and Sarah J Mass is an incredible writer so I literally cannot wait to start this. There's a few differing opinions as to which order you should read these in. This one at the front, The Assassin's Blade, is the one that kind of has differing opinions on it. So some people read it first, some people read it third, some people even read it fourth I think. Um, but I think I'm going to read it first and looking at this they've actually put it first in this order as well. I think the reason being is it's like a prequel or something to one of these books. So some people say read it first and then you'll get an understanding. I think the reason maybe people don't read it first is because it can be a little bit harder to get through because it's not as exciting. Um, but I think it'll give me some really good background before I then go and read the rest of them. So yeah. That is my latest book purchase. It did set me back £50, but think how long this is going to last me. And I just know that these are going to be incredible books. just before I bring the vlog to a close now that a few hours have passed I'm currently curled up on the snug sofa with a very deep red looking <laughs> beverage this is I think it's a strawberry and raspberry tea I think it's a twinings tea I just kind of fancied like a cozy warm drink before going to bed this evening and I didn't want to make a proper cup of tea because as soon as I have caffeine kind of in the evening at any point it completely disrupts my sleep and it just yeah <laughs> I don't sleep very well so yeah I thought I would just have a nice warm drink because although it's the middle of June it is not warm like if it was October right now I would be boosting the heating to warm myself up 
it is honestly crazy. I think it was like five degrees the other morning, so it's just, yeah, it's a bit bonkers. So yeah, I'm having a nice cosy hot drink. I'm gonna put the TV on and see if I can find something to watch this evening. We've been watching kind of a bit of a, a mixture of things. I mean, those of you who do watch my vlogs, I'm just gonna put this hot drink down before I spill it on myself. Um, but yeah, those of you who do watch my vlogs, you'll know that I've been doing a lot of reading recently. So that's kind of taken up a bit more of my time that I would usually dedicate to watching TV or like binging a TV series. But yeah, we've watched a few things. So I thought we could just have a little bit of a TV chat before I go to bed. So we've watched recently, we caught up on the most recent season of Race Across the World. I can't remember if it's on BBC or ITV. I think it's on BBC. It's really good. We've watched, I can't remember what season number it is. I think it might be the third season, but I could be wrong. It could be the fourth. And we've watched all of them now. We really enjoy it. James gets really into it. And James is kind of very big on like travel and seeing all of these cities and seeing whereabouts they go. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a really good watch. It's, it's nice to kind of learn more about people and their reasons for doing it and how much it means to them if they were to win as well. And it's just nice to kind of see the competitive side of it as well. So yeah, we've been watching that. I've also been kind of re-watching but then continuing something that I watched on Netflix I don't even know how long ago I feel like it was years ago I started this but it's the Mortal Instruments or City of Bones I think they might call it um, there's a film and there's also a series and I started the series so long ago and then I don't know why but I just stopped watching it and I thought recently because I've kind of been getting more into like my fantasy books and that sort of world again I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it another go because I just needed something to watch. And I think at that point, I just had nothing that I was watching. So I started watching it again. And I think I'm like at the end of season two now. The sad part is, I think it gets to a point, I don't know if there's four seasons or six seasons, and then they end up like scrapping it and that's it, that's the end of it. And it sounds like a lot of people were gutted about that. But yeah. I'm just going to enjoy watching it. I read the books when I was a bit younger and I absolutely loved them. I remember them clearly and there's not many books from years ago that I remember that well, but that was a standout one. So yeah, I mean, I feel like is anything ever as good as the books apart from Harry Potter? I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to know your opinion. But yeah, it's still good if you're kind of into that fantasy thing. I'd say it's kind of more of like a young adult sort of program. But hey, if it's your thing, you'll enjoy it. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else I've watched. A lot of people have been watching One Day on Netflix. And if I'm totally honest, although it's kind of my thing and I love a romance, I haven't watched it. And I think it's just because I know what happens. I watched the film version. Gosh, I don't even know how long I watched it. But when the film version came out, I watched that. And I remember the moment when the thing happens. I won't spoil it for anyone who has yet to watch it. But for those who have watched it, you'll know what I mean when I say the thing. And... I was pretty traumatised, so it's kind of put me off watching the TV series. I think it's a TV series, or is it just another film? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure about that one. We also watched the new Formula One season on Netflix as well, quite recently. Maybe it was like a few weeks ago now, but it feels quite recent. Um, and that was really good. I always get into that, and I always enjoy that. I just find it really interesting. Even like football documentaries i don't know why i'm not really that interested in football but for some reason i just get really into the documentaries i think they're just so well put together that it just like just just brings you in we also watched speaking of football we also watched um a couple of things on netflix this was very much james's recommendations and it was the kind of thing that he put it on and started watching it and then all of a sudden I found myself like my phone was down or my book was down and I was like fully focused on the TV. So one of them was the attack on Wembley or something I think it was called about when the last 
Euros happened and there were lots and lots of people trying to get into the stadium. I did not think I was going to enjoy it and then I kind of got into it towards the end. And then we also watched the one with um, Georgia from Love Island. It was like the, the, like the football fraudster or something like that. And again, didn't really think I was going to get into it and I didn't think it was kind of going to come to much but then all of a sudden I had watched the whole thing <laughs> so yeah that was kind of some random very random things that we've been watching on Netflix to be honest but if anyone has got anything that they've watched recently or anything new that has come out that they feel I should definitely watch I was about to say definitely read I have I have books on my brain and I'm tired anything that you think I should watch or I should add to my list when I have a little bit of time let me know I have not watched much YouTube recently either I don't know why obviously I love creating YouTube but watching YouTube I seem to just in the last like month or two I feel like I've just had no time to sit and watch YouTube just like I've barely had any time to sit and watch TV I've just I've been doing so many other things <laughs> like I just feel like I've been so busy but yeah any recommendations let me know I am going to sit here and finish my drink and probably continue watching the Mortal Instruments on TV or maybe I'll find a good YouTube vlog to watch, who knows. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little random vlog this weekend and it's not been too boring for you. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.